Hey everyone, this is an update on the fishing. Summer fishing has been slow and has always has been slow. Not a lot of fish to target. You have more unproductive days than productive days. And in these few clips right here, I have been fluke fishing with my buddies, but that day was just slow overall. I had about four or five fish. I wouldn't say it was a bad day, but it was overall good to get out. Now I tried to shift gears a little bit, try to target something a little bit smaller. I decided to target uh, kingfish or whiting instead of the usual fluke, do something different. But that again was slow as well. But um, hey, this is why they call it the summer doldrums of fishing. Hope you guys enjoy. I got some up. Up. I got hung up from that. So probably gonna have to see if I have any hooks. There we go. Go. one got one got one oh one short but he's he's something yep 16 inch fish. Let him go. Hey, it happens sometimes, dude. Let's see if I. That is going to keep. That is going to keep. That is a 20 inch fish. It's a 20 inch fish. No doubt. See how big this fish is, because this I know is a keeper. 19 inches. 19 inch fish. Not bad. Nineteen incher. I ended up with two keepers that day, 19 and 22 inches. Alright, we're here at a, at a famous place, secret top spot. Trying to look for some. I'm looking for some kingfish. To We got the expensive bait. Got the expensive bait. Blood worms. I got the jumbos. 
jumbo blood worms, man. These are the worms that are like 50, 50 inches long. Look at that. Ten dollars a half a dozen. Can you believe that? What? Throw this on the top. No. As much as I don't like using blood worms, I want some kingfish because I'm tired of I'm tired of catching fluke. I have a lot of fluke already. I have a lot of fluke in my freezer, uh, filleted up and ready to go for another day. So I want some kingfish. I miss the taste of kingfish. Uh, I caught some kingfish about two months ago, but uh, they weren't really big. So I'm trying to catch some. Uh, big props to Sea Money Fishing. This top secret spot. No, watching his videos is like report. I know probably about 60% of the areas he fish. Some that I really can't, I don't really know, but. I lost my rig. So hopefully this is good. One ounce wasn't enough. This wind is just very tough fish. Just drifting around. A lot of waves today. It was a little bit dirty. A little bit dirty. Trying to get some kingfish. Oh man, I got whacked. Ooh. I just missed something. I lost a rig, man. There's a lot of rocks out here. I don't like using the beads because uh, it's just. That's deep water. Might throw on another hook. So far I only had one hit that I completely missed. Pretty sure it was a kingfish. I feel like a kingfish. But... I feel like a kingfish. Ooh, kingfish. Wow. Kingies, these are good eating. Oh yeah. Good size ones. Right. All right. A couple of these and that's dinner. <laughs> really good. All right. Not bad. There we go. I got one in here. You still have it? Another kingfish. Oh, a better looking kingfish. Here we go. Better size one. Northern. Northern kingfish. Oh, it's really slow. It's been 30 minutes without a hit. Man, it got windier and 
Yeah, hopefully. Had about two, three, three bites. Uh, hooked two of them. Missed two of them. Missed one or two. Just like legit. Not uh, doing so great now. Water's gone down. Well, it's outgoing, so I kind of like it, but I like it midway down. But uh, that's going to be a little bit too late. So I timed the tide wrong. I got there the last 30 minutes of incoming. As soon as the water turned outgoing, the bite just shut down. Didn't get a hit for an hour, and then I ended up with three kingfish in 10, 11 inch range. Not big, but not too small. But uh, I'm gonna use it for bait next time I go fishing. Uh, 